So I feel a little weird saying this, but I am somebody that really enjoys packing. And yes, I mean packing my suitcase. I love the excitement of going on a trip and getting everything together. I've done quite a bit of traveling recently and I'm going to be doing even more traveling coming up in the next month. Today I'm going to show you how to pack so you don't overpack. I'm going to show you how to pack it all into a carry-on sized bag. I am just gonna get this show on the road. <laughs> I like to start off by packing my makeup first. So this is my makeup bag and it has a compartment here at the top for all of my brushes and tools and then underneath is where I put my makeup. When I pack my makeup, I like to think about the order that I apply my makeup in the morning. So that way I can make sure that I'm packing the things that I absolutely need and nothing more. I normally start off with my eye makeup first. So here I have everything laid out. I start off with my primer and this one is my NARS primer so that goes right in there then I apply whatever eyeshadow I'm going to be using and this one is from Pacifica it's the natural mineral coconut eyeshadow in ethereal this is really pigmented has great color payoff and it's actually made with coconut water so it doesn't crease and it has a really nice long wearing finish then I come in and curl my eyelashes so I'm gonna throw my eyelash curler in there I have my NARS eyeliner because I like to use this to line the upper inner rims of my eyes. I'll also throw in whatever mascara I'm using and this is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes mascara that you guys have seen me use a ton. I really love it because it's waterproof. The next group I have here is my face makeup. So I always start off with a primer. This one is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and this basically just helps keep your makeup looking fresh all day and it helps even out your skin tone. So I love this stuff. I wear it even on days when I'm not wearing makeup because it just kind of creates this invisible layer that makes everything look better. This is actually a small little sample size that I got from Ipsy. So if you have any samples laying around, definitely pull them out. They don't take up as much space and they're just easier to travel with. So if you're interested in this little guy, I'll have a link down below to ipsy.com where you can find this and some of the other things in this video. I have concealers. So this is my under eye concealer. It's CoverGirl's Depuffer. And then I also have my face concealer, the NARS Creamy Concealer. And I use use this for any kind of blemishes or discoloration that I have. Last is foundation. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation that I have used a ton. Brows are next. So I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, which has a brush on one end and then the pencil on the other end. I lost the cap for this side, so that's why it's sticking out. And then I have an eyebrow gel, and this one is from Tarte. Can't remember what it's called, but it's their tinted brow gel. When you travel, it's nice to consolidate as much as you possibly can. So here I have my e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo and this is awesome because you get two products in one you get a nice mirror here and you don't have to pack you know like a blush palette or a huge bronzer it's all in one little thing here for lips I like to have a few options so I always bring a lip balm this one is from Jouer and it's their essential lip enhancer this is really nourishing and conditioning on your lips and it actually kind of makes them look a little bit fuller and also helps reduce the appearance of fine lines. This is something I've been using for like three or four years and I love it. I keep going back to it and it's an amazing thing to have especially when you're traveling because your lips tend to get really dry. Then I like to bring some kind of natural lip color. So this is Max Syrup Lipstick and this is just a great everyday color I wear all the time. And since I love my statement lips, I'll pick out one fun lip color to bring with me and this one is Indie Flick from NYX. It's a gorgeous bright orange color and it looks amazing on the lips. So if you think about it, with these three lip colors and the same base makeup, you can create three totally different looks. The last step to go in is kind of like the miscellaneous extra stuff. This here is the Mana Kadar Cosmetics Sheer Glow. This just lights up your skin. You can mix it with your foundation, wear it alone on your face, or you can actually mix it with your body lotion. And it's basically perfect for travel because it is a universal product. And then I have my little fragrance atomizer here and I'll just put whatever perfume I'm currently using inside so that way I don't have to bring the full bottle I don't have to worry about it breaking all of my makeup is in this bottom compartment and then I have my brushes up here at the top and I'm just going to stick this pair of tweezers that I have here in this side pocket and once everything is all zipped up this guy is ready to go in my suitcase now it's time for toiletries so I've separated everything out I have my 
my creams and liquids over here and then everything else on this side. I have my simple moisturizing face wash, a daytime moisturizer from Be Fine with SPF 15, a spot treatment just in case I have any breakouts, and I've decanted my nighttime moisturizer into this thing called a Go Tub. So this is really awesome because the top just pops off like this and you can put anything inside and it's not going to spill. This is a great thing to use if you have products in big containers that you want to use, but you can't take the containers with you. I have a hand cream that I actually got from a hotel that I stayed at recently and I took it with me because I really liked it. I have the Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream, which is really hydrating, especially if you have dry under eyes like I do. And it just helps your eyes look brighter, smoother, and they feel better too. Then I have some toothpaste and then I have this little squeezy tube here, which actually has my Bosha cleansing oil in it. Now you may notice that I don't have any kind of body wash, soap, or shampoo here. And that's because for the most part, I'll use the hotel products. But if you wanna bring your own shampoo and conditioner or hair products or body wash, you can put them in these little squeezy tube containers. These things are reusable, they don't spill, they lock in whatever liquid or cream that you put inside. And you can easily clean them out and put something else in the next time you travel. All of these products that I have here are under two fluid ounces, which is awesome because that is way under the limit. On this side, I just have my toothbrush with a little cover on it, a travel size of my Yes to Cucumber wipe, some floss, a little mini deodorant, and a super cute mini razor that comes in a travel case. I have a quart size Ziploc bag here, and I'm going to be putting all of my creams and liquids into this bag. Everything fits in here nicely with room to spare. I like to put my toiletries in this bag that I have that says lotions and potions. So I have the non-liquid stuff inside and then I'm just gonna stick my Ziploc baggie in there and zip this up. Now before I start packing all of my clothing, I like to think about a few things first. Where I'm going, obviously, what the weather is going to be like, what I'm gonna be doing, and how long I'm gonna be traveling. So here's what I'm gonna be packing today. For tops, I have one of my favorite flannels, just a basic, simple top, and a turtleneck. For bottoms, I have two pairs of jeans, each one in a different color for a little variety, a skirt, and a romper that happens to look like a dress, which is very convenient. And for outer layers, I have a trench. This is awesome for travel because it's not bulky, it's water resistant, and you can dress it up or down. I have a denim jacket, a pullover sweater, and a super lightweight vest. And then I have three pairs of shoes, my van slip-ons because duh, I wear them all the time, a pair of printed flats, and my cat flats for something a little bit dressier and fun at the same time. And last but not least, I always throw in a scarf. You just never know when you're gonna get a little bit chilly, when you need a blanket, when you need a pillow. A scarf can serve so many purposes. Now I put some outfits together so you guys can see how all of these pieces can work together and you can mix and match and create so many different outfits. You can create way more than what I've shown here, but this is just an example of what you can do with your wardrobe if you take a little extra time to think things out and pick pieces that can go with other pieces and you can just mix and match everything to create a ton of different outfits. Now that I have my clothing all picked out, it's time to bring in the packing cubes AKA the thing that will change your life when it comes to travel. So this is one of my packing cubes. I like the ones from Eagle Creek and this is a half double-sided cube. So the front side here is odor-proof and waterproof. So if you have any bathing suits, gym clothes, dirty clothes in general, you can put those items in here and it's not gonna stink up your suitcase or get things wet. And then on the other side, it's just a breathable mesh. So in this first section, I have my tights, socks, bras. I usually like to pack a bathing suit just in case I'm going to be in a pool or in the ocean or something. If I'm going on a beach vacation, then I'll usually pack more bathing suits. And then underneath, I just have my underwear. So then you can just zip all of that up. And then on this other side, I have my pajamas. So I have this long sleeping shirt and then a tank top and a pair of shorts. This is the full-size double-sided packing cube. And in this one, I have 
my skirt right here, both of my jeans underneath, and then on the other side, I threw in my scarf, and you can just bring this on the plane with you if you feel like you're gonna need it, and I have my sweater underneath that. Now this thing here is called a packing folder, and this is awesome if you're gonna be packing things that you don't want to get wrinkled. So in here, I have my tops, and it comes with this folding board, so you can fold things and everything will be the same size and will fit nicely in the folder. I have my tops in here and the romper at the very bottom, and I like to alternate the direction that the tops are laying. So you can see underneath, the top of this shirt is over on this side, and then I've laid this shirt with the top on the other side. And that is just so you can place things in and they'll lay as flat as possible. I like to place the board on the very top and then I just seal it all up. All right, for shoes, I have them in this little dust bag here. So I've actually only packed up two pairs of my shoes. And then if you want to bring jewelry with you, I like to put mine in a little pouch like this. Whenever I get something from Bobble Bar, I always save the pouches because they're just really great to have. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I can compress the vest that I have into this little carrying pouch that it comes with. And this vest is just from Uniqlo. It's a super, super lightweight vest and you can really just squish this thing and roll it and just make it teeny tiny. You can even lay this flat in your suitcase if you want to, but it comes with this little pouch that is super handy. This is my carry-on suitcase. It is from the Tumi Alpha 2 collection and it is 22 by 14 by nine. And it's also expandable to 11 inches in depth if you want to use a smaller suitcase and check it. So this is what it looks like inside and I'm just gonna start placing everything in. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, feminine products because I always like to have some right here where I can see them so I know that I am packing them because sometimes I just get my period when I'm traveling. It has happened when I boarded a plane and I wasn't prepared and it sucked. Over here, I am going to place my big packing cube and then I have my smaller packing cube here. My vest, I'm going to be putting my denim jacket right here and then my packing folder goes right over the top. So I can seal up this side with the clasps here and then over here on this side, I'm going to be placing in my makeup makeup bag and toiletries. Shoes go right in here at the bottom as well as jewelry right there. And I normally bring a hair styling tool and I bring just one. I never bring a hair dryer because either a hotel will have one or I'll just let my hair air dry. And if you're gonna be traveling with other people, a thing to think about is maybe your friend can bring a straightener and you can bring the curler so then you both don't have to pack both things. Then we just have to fold it all over zip it up, and this suitcase is ready to travel. Outside of my suitcase, I have my Vans shoes to wear on the plane. I also like to bring my trench on the plane because that saves space in your suitcase, and it's also just a nice thing to have on the plane, whether you wear it because you're cold, or what I normally do, I use it as a blanket. So that's pretty much it. That is how I pack my suitcase when I wanna travel light and I don't want to bring my big boy suitcase with me. And as you can see, it's super easy and I feel like it just gives you a little bit more peace of mind. You know that you have everything that you absolutely need and you can just enjoy your trip and not have to worry about stuff in 10 billion places. So this is where I say goodbye to you all and if you would like to watch one of my last videos you can just click on one of the boxes right here and watch them but I hope you guys are having an awesome day safe travels everyone I shall see you in my next video bye